My name is Khulud. It means immortality, like the everlasting dreams of peace and freedom of five million Palestinians. I've always dreamed of being a great woman who'll participate in changing the world to make it a better place for people to live. After finishing school, I stood in front of my parents and said, Today is my day. I want to study in the Arab American University in Jenin. After five years, I'll become a great scientist. The world will be better. You will be very proud of your 14th child. But the only thing standing in my way was an Israeli checkpoint. I've always questioned, why does my sister Salwa, who lives in Hebron, just a few kilometers away, visit us only twice a year? The answer is simply Israeli checkpoints. There are three checkpoints between Hebron and Aida camp where I live. The day after I told my parents about my dream, I went to visit the Arab American University in Jenin. I've always known that Israel has constructed hundreds of checkpoints and other roadblocks on Palestinian lands. But on that day, I found what it really meant. As I sat with my older sister, Kifa, in the taxi waiting to pass through the checkpoint, I saw a line of Palestinian men being put up against the wall and searched. I remembered Salah, a friend of mine who was beaten at a checkpoint just because he was smiling. At the time, Salah was only 15 years old. I felt afraid because I was unsure of what would happen. When it was my turn to pass, they asked me for my ID. They asked many questions. Where are you coming from? Where do you live? Where are you going to? What are you doing to do there? How many brothers do you have? Do you have any imprisoned brothers? Even though I answered all their questions, I was not able to pass simply because the soldiers didn't feel like letting me in. So, after many hours of waiting, I had to go back home. When I reached home, I said to myself, No Khulud, it's not your day. You can't go to study out of Bethlehem. The same suffering will happen every day. How can you focus on studying while you're afraid of being stopped, beaten, or even imprisoned at a checkpoint. My sister Khawla studied in Al-Quds University in Jerusalem. On the way to university, journeys of short distances stretch into hours. She used to leave home at sunrise to reach university by 9 a.m., three hours for what should take only 15 minutes. Today, I study English literature and translation in Bethlehem University. I can say now, real life is different than dreams, but I have the right to dream. While I couldn't study medical science in the Arab American University because of checkpoints, I still dream of becoming a great woman. I want to work in a Palestinian embassy as a translator so that the rest of the world can understand the Palestinian struggle. Maybe checkpoints can prevent me from going from place to place but they can't prevent me from dreaming. I'm dreaming of a free Palestine, one without any Israeli checkpoints, and hoping it will become a reality. All Palestinians have this immortal dream.